saying it's a plause. <laughs> but I don't know if anyone's ever told you that rabbits are, in fact, shy and retiring creatures. <laughs> so, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Like, if you went up to a rabbit in the wild and started applauding, it would do one of them little round craisins. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't say <laughs> on CBS. <laughs> Not unless that <laughs> is involved in a crime. <laughs> For example, if he was like, mm, I see there's a lawyer <laughs> here. <laughs> Well, at least we believe it's something really <laughs> is going on. <laughs> or a rabbit happened to be here and someone spontaneously burst into a round of applause. <laughs> Which isn't technically a crime, although morally <laughs> suspect. <laughs> well, you can't arrest people for being morally suspect. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> That's got to be an interesting beat for you, isn't it? <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> when I start cussing in the middle of words, it really drives them up the <laughs> wall. They get because it's very difficult <laughs> to beep in the middle of a word. <laughs> Say it is impossible. <laughs> but you know what? The impossible <laughs> is what we do here every <laughs> day. <laughs>
I'm glad to be back. Last week I was uh, I was out doing stand up, or I call it stand up. You know, it, it's just talking. Anyway, I uh, I was in the south and the Midwest. I always love going out on the road, but it's a little insulting, you know, when you see people in the front row trying to change the channel, and I'm like, I'm right here. They're like, it's like he's in the room. I am in the room. Where's Fallon? He's not. Anyway, now I'm back, unless this is a rerun in the future. In which case, congratulations, President Gingrich. <laughs> hey, how do you know? Well done, you are realizing Bill Clinton's dream of turning the Oval Office into a swingers club. <laughs> I, knew, I knew we had something in common. What's her name again? Condoleezza. <laughs> Unlikely. Look, I stayed in some uh, great hotels when I was out on the road. That's what I want to talk to you about. And none of them were haunted, except one. <laughs> yes. Now, I can't tell you which one, but it was the Hotel Deco in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> it was haunted. As, it was very hot. Do we have a picture of the Hotel Deco? Yeah, you see that? I said no. <laughs> no, that's not it. A real picture of it. Well, there it is. Oh. Oh. The Hotel Deco is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and soon they'll be adding a plaque that says, Greg Ferguson crapped his pants here. <laughs> it was dead. No, I want to be clear. The staff were great. The hotel was fine. It was very friendly. And the woman who was standing out front as I walked in, she said, well, you know, I was checking in, she said, you know, this hotel is haunted. <laughs> That's how she did it, like that. She said, you know this hotel is hard. I'm like, yeah, thanks very much. And I, get in, I told the elevator guy, I said, you know that woman says the hotel is hard. And he said, there hasn't been a woman out there in 20 years. I was like, then I'm in the right place. Anyway, I, I know some of you are probably spectacled that, uh, you know, uh, that the, the hotel was haunted. You know, did you see ghosts, Craig? No, I didn't see ghosts. Or did the furniture move? You know, no. No, I didn't see that. <laughs> but I did hear a spooky moaning in the middle of the night. I'm going, uh, I heard that. But that was just a hobo sleeping next to me. I know. I know I shouldn't really pick up snorry hobos, but... <laughs> By the way, snorry hobos is the folk singer who opens for me on the road, you know. And there's another guy who goes on stage before me and tells jokes. <laughs> I should have known the hotel was haunted, though, and then I get to, you know, my room number. I'm not kidding. 666. That was my room number. Now, that's not true, but if that was true... <laughs> no, but I, I mean, room 666, it wasn't really, but let's just say it was. And then what was doubly weird, it really was the 13th floor. That's not true either. 666 <laughs> on the 13th floor, and whenever I opened the elevator, you know, blood would rush down the hallway. And then there was the two little girls exactly the same going, oh! And the women go, this is haunted, haunted. <laughs> now, the room seemed normal, but the haunted started, uh, the haunting started, the haunted started. <laughs> I'm still scared. And, uh, the, the haunting started in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom and I saw a wrinkly old grandpa pointing. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a wrinkly old grandpa pointing his crooky, bony finger at me. <laughs> and then I realized that I was looking in the mirror. <laughs> And it wasn't a bony finger. <laughs> it was my penis. It looked like a finger, you know, because of the ring and the knuckles and stuff. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> did you just judge me there? You just judged me. Haunted. Oh, the hotel was haunted. You would have liked it, actually. That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I mean, I mean, the hotel was nice, but the, the haunting thing scared me. It was too much like being here. <laughs> Scary. Anyway, after a few minutes in a bathroom, you know, I was in the bathroom, and I knew something terrible had happened in there. <laughs> the bathroom was haunted by the ghost. The ghost of Mexican food. Taquitos. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, it could have been the power of suggestion. The, the woman really did say it was haunted, though. That woman did say, it's haunted. <laughs> and I didn't sleep a wink. I tried everything. I, I, you know, I tried the counting the sheep. I tried the relaxation, <laughs> breathing. But, and there was no porn in this hotel. <laughs> That's when I knew I was in hell. <laughs> There's no porn in this hotel. And after cracking my knuckles, I felt like such a fool. <laughs> I never saw an apparition or anything. By the way, apparition is a fancy word for ghost. Like, Kardashian is a fancy word for prostitute. <laughs> what? Would you stay in a haunted hotel if you knew it was haunted? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> well, you're, you're, you're a robot skeleton. I'd have so much fun scaring the hell out of people. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I was, I was genuinely frightened. <laughs> Did you seriously crap your pants? Just right there when I said, Haunted! Yeah. I didn't want to say anything, but I noticed. <laughs> I didn't really. It was just it was a joke. I didn't really. I mean, if I did, I would go, excuse me, everyone, I've crapped my pants. And then, uh, <laughs> they teach you this at uh, late night talk show college. <laughs> You know, if you, if in the event, you know, the terrible event, you crap your pants, throw it to a commercial. That's what I'd do. I'd, I would say, oh, sorry, everyone. Something bad has happened. Oh, time for commercial. No, no! I would say, something bad has happened. In your pants. In my pants. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That, that's when you break into spontaneous applause? When the robot gets his line right the second time? <laughs> it's a very pro-gay robot audience this evening. I was trying to help you out, man, because you, you crapped your pants. I didn't crap my pants. It just happens to be time for us to go to a commercial. Whatever helps you sleep at night. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. here at CBS Television City, a basement which is haunted, haunted by... Uh. <laughs> haunted by a gay robot and a needy middle-aged man. <laughs> Do that thing with your hand. Ready? Sure. <laughs> Coming along very well. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, uh, Jeff, seriously, have you, would you stay in a hotel if you knew it was haunted? Oh, yeah, man. Have you ever stayed in a haunted hotel? Sure, yeah. Where? In, uh, I was in uh, Poughkeepsie one time. <laughs> Is that code? Bet your ass it is. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time, brought to you by Snorri Hobos and the Penis Knuckle Band. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, bleeding, bleeding, blue and web, face code, twist, so, ass mode, checks the tweets, 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 and so, email! This is from... This is from Kai in Kaili in Hawaii. Oh, mahalo, aqua, aqualungs. Do you know any Hawaiian words apart from aqualungs? The uh, balls. No, that's not how they say it. They say wiki wiki. Not where I come from. <laughs> where you come from? Where I come from, they say leaky leaky. <laughs> All right, this is from Kai in Clara in Hawaii. He says, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. My wife often picks fights with me after sex. Is it normal to fight after sex? <laughs> normal? Why, I sneeze at even being asked. 
I don't, uh, well, uh, maybe what I think she's trying to tell you is you, you're, you're not so much pleasuring her as irritating her. <laughs> Want to change it up a little bit, you know? Put a hat on or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put a hat on. Yeah. That's what the women like. They like it if you wear a hat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice Stetson. No, no, no. I was thinking more of kind of uh, like one of them flapper hats from the 20s. Ooh, yeah, maybe, maybe a bowler. A bowler, yeah, a bowler hat. And something on your head, too. Uh... <laughs> this is from Sandy in Tacoma, Washington. Ever been there? I love it there. Mm hmm. And have you ever been to Tacoma, Washington? Never. <laughs> I made myself laugh there. As uh, Sandy said, Dear Craig and Jeff, do either of you have any nicknames when you're growing up? Yes, mine was Tubby. What was yours, Jeff? Bony Pants. <laughs> this is from Cody in Luttrell in, uh, in Tennessee. Uh, Luttrell? I mean that. Luttrell. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I am a second year medical student and trying to decide which specialty I should go into. Any advice? Asses. That's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, proctology. That's how you that's where all the money is. <laughs> Tucked away. <laughs> what would you do if you were a doctor? Like what would be your speciality? No, I, I think asses is a pretty good start. Yeah, uh, no, I actually wouldn't do that. I think mine would be I'd like to, you know, fingers. <laughs> Do you get finger doctors? You just do only fingers? That's why I don't, I'd only do one finger. Well, I don't do that finger. You specialize in one finger. One finger, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. <laughs> this is from Rob in White Pine County in, in Nevada. It says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I took my girlfriend to see my favorite band in concert and she hated it. Should I dump her? Absolutely. <laughs> I know we're out of time. I'll just do this last one. It's from uh, Nick in Tampa, Florida. I don't know if you can tell, but Nick's a duck. <laughs> you enjoy a duck? Mm, yeah. I love a duck as much as the next guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, my sister has a new boyfriend who makes snide remarks behind her back. Should I tell her about it? Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't. You, you can't because she'll think that you're trying to break them up, which maybe you are, Nick. Maybe you are. <laughs> maybe I'm under your game, Nick. Or maybe I've just seen too many daytime dramas. <laughs> what do you think, Jeff? I think you're a liar, Nick. I think you're a liar too, Nick. I think you aren't telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> now, for all the people who say that show is scripted, now you know. Because <laughs> if it was scripted, it would be better than this. Right, Jeff? Not really. No. Nah, no, not necessarily. Well, we're out of time. We'll be right back with this one. show where tonight oh you missed it it's really awesome <laughs> that was great when that's wasn't it Jeff oh yeah <laughs> my first guest tonight is an award-winning actor he stars in House of Lies not pies I made that mistake last time House of Lies which is in Sundays on the Showtime Network take a look at this <laughs> please welcome Don Cheadle everybody Don Cheadle. I gotta say, I gotta say, I, I'm loving the hat. Oh, thank you. No. Well, I was listening to the Twitter mail. Yeah. And the advice that you gave well, about the... wearing the hat yeah. when you're pleasuring your knuckle. Do you wear a hat when you masturbate? Is that what you're saying? Ma masturbate? What? No, I, that's not what I was talking about at all. I was talking about touching my knuckle. 
<laughs> Don't look at my hand when I say no. Nothing. Going on. <laughs> it's, it's a nice hat, though. It, yeah. Uh, did you put the hat on? After I said that, or you were going to, it was just a coincidence you were going to wear a hat? I, I, I live my life, and I take my direction from, from your show. So. Well, you see, that, that would be a big mistake there. Yeah. I'm finding that out. Yeah. I do, I do like your uh, sweater vest, though. Oh, thank yeah, you very much. That's very yes. cool. That's all the, that's fashionable with uh, Rick Santorum. He's, he's wearing a lot of those sweaters. An, another, another person who I, who I follow religiously. Really? Yeah. You surprised me. I know. I yeah. It's, it's shocking, isn't it? A little bit. In yeah. fact, it sounds a little bit like a lie. It's a lie. Yeah. Are you lying a lot now? No, you're on the House of Pies show. House of Lies show. House of House Lies. Of lies. Yeah. 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 Have you yeah. ever been to House of Pies in Los Feliz, though? It's fantastic. Unbelievable place, isn't so it? So many pies. It's like, it's like a house. I, I was disappointed at first because I thought it would be a house made of pies. Right. Yeah. It's just bricks and the usual stuff. It's the usual house. But when you go in there... Pies. A wonderland of pies. Yeah. What's your favorite, savory or sweet? I like the sweet pies myself. Mm, mm. Mm. You? Well, I'm originally from Europe. So you, have, you like to put meat in your pies. <laughs> I, like, I like a pie filled with hot meat. Ooh. <laughs> That's how we do it back where I'm from. Yeah. yeah. I like to fill myself with a hot meat pie. Okay, you went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. That was good. I had you on the ropes there for a minute. You did. But you really, I yeah. was like, whoa, whoa. You came you back. Like, I did it. Right, yeah. That was great. Thank you. So the show is doing great, right? Yeah, it was, yeah, it it was well, well received. We opened really good, and we've had See, some strong shows. The shows like, the, like you're doing, like the good TV shows, mm -hmm. I wait until they're like almost at the end, and then I get in the DVR, and I, and I catch them all up. That's how I do it. Well, I think people do that now. Yeah, and watch just all in one big Right, chunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help us on the Nielsen's, so, so thanks a lot. Don't worry about that. If, look, if anyone in TV worried about ratings, would I be on the air? <laughs> They don't you care. You make a good point. They don't care. No, it's I true. tell you, look, they, I'm telling you, they don't care. Look, remember when Jay Leno got kicked off the Tonight Show I, and all that? I, I do. Stuff? I do. He was, he was doing great. They, they, right. off, get, get out, out of there. there. Yeah, they brought it back, but uh, <laughs> I don't think they care about ratings as much. You don't really know what you're talking about, do you? Never, never, <laughs> never. <laughs> I find, it's kind of a rule that I have. Right. If I know what I'm going to talk about, it's probably a lie. <laughs> Is that right? Where's the... Yeah, hey, yeah. Jeff. Hey, Don. Hey, Hello, buddy. How are you? Very good. Want to go out for some meat pies later? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? What the hell? Eh? You guys play golf together or something? Yeah, uh, the tea time tomorrow morning, 8.30. Okay? Oh, you got it, pal. All right, buddy. Do you play golf? No. <laughs> so Jeff's going to turn off at a golf course <laughs> on his own? Hey, have you ever stayed in a haunted hotel? I think I have stayed in a haunted hotel. It wasn't the deck in New York. Oh, right. No, it was the... Well, I don't want to say it because... Well, it's all right. People sued. like that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's the Waldorf. I mean, that's obviously... Oh, Obviously right, haunted. Right, yeah. I, if I could afford to be haunted by one of them classy girls... <laughs> uh... Yeah, the Waldorf. Ooh! Yeah. Ooh! From France! Yeah. Yeah. They're very posh. Yeah, yeah. Very posh oh, ghosts. Like Downton Abbey ghosts. I say! Ooh! Yeah. 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 Ew! <laughs> Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Have you been watching the Downton Abbey? No, I haven't. Oh, you'd like I'm it. waiting to catch it. Like, oh, yeah, get it, catch them yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. You were working with Kristen, of course. Kristen Bell. Kristen... Bell, yeah. Bell, yes. Yeah, yeah. Kristen Bell. <laughs> yeah. You know she's been on this show how many times? 20... 20 44. 29 something. times. 29 times she's been here. Why, why do you keep bringing her back? I don't know what else. She smells great. She does smell she great. She smells great. She smells great. I mean, when she comes out here, it's like a breath of fresh air. And she's cute as a button. I mean, let's face she's it. She's reasonably cute, I will admit. I mean, <laughs> she, she'd she be cute if she'd wear a little hat like that. that, that. We can't all pull off the you hat. Got, yeah, you can't pull up. Pull off the hat? I said we can't all pull off the oh, hat. Oh, I thought, I thought you said we can't pull off the hat. Like it was code for something. <laughs> I mean, we could make a code for something. I think that's kind of what we do here. <laughs> well, you pull off the hat, and then I'll pull off the hat. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> Feeling a little uncomfortable, buddy? Very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, you know what we do when we're uncomfortable? What? Commercial break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with uh, Don Cheadle. We were talking about uh, code for other things. Yeah. <laughs> but we were, and then we stopped talking about that because it was uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable. Well, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. It I was think, a little uncomfortable. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't as uncomfortable as all that. No. In fact, it was comfortable. It was very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and we've come full circle. Have you, ever done that? have you ever been out getting drunk and you drunk so much you suddenly were sober? That, uh... <laughs> That has happened. I, it happened to me once. I, I drove right out of the I, I came, loop. I went so crazy and then drunk and then boom, rehab. Uh, <laughs> so you call sober rehab? Well, eventually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, eventually, sure, yeah. yeah. That's not your thing, though. You're no, not no. A big I would never go to rehab. You're more a heroin, aren't you? Yeah. A heroin. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I, I don't think so. No, no, you're pretty clean living, aren't you? You're Very clean. Married kids. Yeah. And the thing. You're, Except for the heroin, I'm like... Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, do you fancy an uh, awkward pause or mouth organ or do you want to go for the big cash prize? I think I've got to go for the big cash prize. I think you have. What time is the shot of Steven? It's time for the big cash prize. Right, eh? Now, I don't know if you're familiar with this. Wow. I think this is new since the last time you were here. Yeah, Basically, it says you, can, you get a chance to win 50 American dollars what? in singles. Yes, usable at any strip club in the United Stripper Asia. money. Yeah, stripper cash. Yeah. All right. All you have to do, you can win it either two ways. You can answer a question. Or steal or, it. No, that, that'd be a third Third way, way yeah. Are you, well, that would be wrong. No, it would be wrong. And plus, you're on film. It, well, I'd be film. caught immediately. Yeah, yeah, you'd be caught. Yeah. I mean, it's not the kind of quality you get at your average, you know, it's convenience store. Uh, no, no, no. Not those high-class cameras. Yeah, they're, they're better than these. Two. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. look, uh, you can win one or two ways. You can answer a question or mm -hmm. you can guess what's in my box. This is done like this. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Mm. And you guess what's in it and then we check with Jeff and if you're right, you get 50 bucks and if you're wrong, you don't. Wow. Yeah. So I have to pick one of those two ways now? Yeah, I'd be very grateful if you did. Yeah. <laughs> You want to chime in, Jeff? Yeah, if you could speed it up, Don. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's just uh, get... Ask the question, ask the question. Right, so you, you wanted a question? Then? I just said ask the question. Well, yeah, 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 you're yeah, accusing I... me of slowing down. Yeah, 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 well, I, just, I didn't want you to feel like you were getting rushed, that's all. I, I just... feel rushed. Oh, well, all right, let's slow down. Rush. Hey, all right, let's take a little quick water, impromptu yeah. awkward yeah. pause. Okay, you ready for the question now? Oh, we're done with the pause? Oh, yeah, well, All right. oh we, we can keep it going. No, 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 let's go. I'm right. sure you have other guests. You're just a big-time actor. If you oh, now we're going to do that? Now we're going to do that? No, no, we're going to no, be you... these kind of people now? No. We're going to do that with each other now? Well, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm right. just saying, you're no, you know, a very successful actor. Now people think we're in a tiff. This isn't a tiff. <laughs> it's a tiff. It's a tiff. <laughs> it's a tiff. <laughs> All right, here's the question. Are you ready? Yes, go. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. All right? Mm-hmm. In what British nation did the so-called Rebecca riots take place where male protesters dressed as women to protest taxes? Hmm. And wh which British country? Is that multiple choice? <laughs> There's only four of them. <laughs> it's kind of multiple choice if you know the, f the countries that make up, you know, the United Kingdom. All right, all right. You're so aggressive. I, that, um, that wasn't... No, that's not aggressive. No? That, no, no. Aggressive is like... Oh! <laughs> okay. That, that, that wasn't even a guy. That was just, that was just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was just like a crazy yeah. guy. It was like manic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna guess San Francisco. Okay. <laughs> That's a really good guess. Right. Near, it's so close right. that I, I'm going to give you a second chance. Okay, okay, go. Right. Okay. Right, it's a country. A country. Right, right. And, uh, and also a large aquatic animal. Oh, got it. Beaver Falls. No, Beaver no. Falls. No. Beaver Falls is not a country. Not a country. Not a country. That's not a What's that coming to go? It's a condition. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I don't think wow. that'll make it in. I no, that can't. That can't make the cut. <laughs> All um, right, so okay. uh, it, we, uh, I'm gonna say, you ready? Yeah. Dolphin flat. No, uh, it's whales. Whales. Come on, it's whales. whales. Yeah. Fifty dollars. Yeah.
Mag. Well, was, did you enjoy those commercials? Weren't they great? Oh, they were still I'm there. telling you, I'm getting one of all of those. <laughs> guest is in a movie called, is it W.E. or We? It's called W.E. is the name of the movie. I've seen it so many times I can't remember. <laughs> Except it's not in theatres until Friday. <laughs> Take a look at this. I say, she's a saucy one. Please welcome Andrea Riceborough, everybody. Andrea Riceborough. American. I don't know if you know that. You sounded American no, in there. No, I, I, I had the memo a couple of weeks ago. I'm you're not, not American. No, apparently. You're, you're, you're from... I'm from Newcastle. Newcastle in England? In England. That's lovely. Yeah. I've been there. Have you? Yeah, I have. That's the well, only place I've been... Well, it's not far from where you're from. Well, it's not far from that far from Scotland. It's very like where I'm from in many ways. There's lots of... <laughs> <laughs> It's true. If, yeah. you pa if, you pass, if you pass through the airport there, you'll notice they're having like a fried breakfast with a pint. Yeah, that's right. At yeah. like 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're making me homesick now. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Hey, uh, so uh, how's the film then? You play Wallace uh, Simpson? I play Wallace Simpson. Who's the lady that married... Uh, Prince Edward. Prince Edward. And then he uh, became King Edward, but he abdicated... I can the tell how many times you have watched it. Uh, yeah, it? yeah. No, I know the story. It was, it was, it's, it's... I'm, um, basically, it's, it's, a, it's, a, yes, it's a story about Wallace Simpson. Right. And his abdication. Yeah, that was a bad business. It, yes, no. It, 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 I mean, it I know it was about 75 years ago, but people are still reeling over it. It was just about rotten. It. rotten. <laughs> it was he just... had to give up the throne because she was a divorcee, right? Yes, and, and, you know, the argument is that perhaps he didn't have to give up the throne. Well. But he did. He did? Mm. Well, he did, yeah, for love. God forbid for a woman. I don't know why anybody would do that. <laughs> Really? <laughs> There's been a couple out here who could have this chair, I tell you. Do you know, I've watched that snake from afar for so long and oh, I didn't know it was it? a snake. No, do you want to pet it? That's great, yes. Yeah. There you are. Feels Careful, like you nearly hit my knuckle there. <laughs> uh. So, uh, oh. now, now, how did you get on doing the film? Did you enjoy it? Because Madonna directed it, didn't she? I did enjoy it. Right. Yes, she did. Oh. Yes, she did. Did you understand her accent? <laughs> I, no, that's not fair. That's, you had a nice time. I'm sure you had a nice I had an, time. I had an incredible time, and right. she was very clear. I think I think the clarity, or any any lack of it, might have come from my character because she was a, a Baltim, uh, She was from Baltimore. Baltimore. Did a you have strange, to work on uh, doing a Baltimore mid -Atlantic accent? Strange mid-Atlantic twang. What? Yeah, she she had all sorts of. She was it was like a real melting pot. Her accent, and she she'd lived so many places that it was. Are we talking it's, Madonna it's really, or the other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking. We're talking right, about right, Wallace right. Simpson. Yes, Wallace yes, Simpson. of course we are. Yeah, no, She lived in Shanghai and London and, uh, and really? the south. What, what did she do before she met uh, the the prince of? Well, uh, she married two other people. She was on her third marriage. She was. So like that's me. I could be the Queen of England. <laughs> no, no. On, and in many ways, country. I have been. <laughs> <laughs> on the contrary, we probably what we like to do in those situations is just exile you for right. at least sort of 50, maybe to 70 years. Um, you know, the, the, and you're only allowed the, to come back when you die. Weren't they Nazis, though? Weren't they no. Nazi sympathizers? I, in, in, in my opinion, no, they weren't. Right, they weren't. Okay. But I think you, you do a small amount of research into it, and then you realize that's all absolute codswallop. Really? Because I, yeah. I thought he was like, he was like, well, Hitler's not such a bad chap, really, that well, kind of I, thing. I, I, and, I th and I think many people at the beginning of Hitler's social reform um, had no idea of how... Uh, Just the, the extent twisted it was going to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Horrific. Yeah. Oh, it was I, going to be. You're saying Hitler was bad? <laughs> it's controversial, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, did you like that time then? Did you like wearing all them fancy? Did you wear corsets and everything? They were, they were very helpful. Everybody asks that, um, you know, and it's and it's. Do they really? <laughs> yes, I thought I was asking something really unusual. No, <laughs> no. All right um, then. What does Madonna smell like? Anybody <laughs> ask you that? <laughs> no, they, My guess yeah, is patchouli. I don't know why. I think I'm a little bit like patchouli. I've never met Madonna, but like I suspect a, a little like bit. Like a bed of roses. Very beautiful. Yeah, really. <laughs> What's your favourite smell of all things? Don't say bacon. <laughs> it's like you're reading my mind. Yeah. Well, I know you're from Newcastle, so it's going to be bacon or... <laughs> Craisins. Craisins? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love a craisin. 
Yeah. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> the craisin is a mixture of the cranberry and the raisin. Have you tried such a thing yet? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't. But uh, my rabbit used to deliver them to me. <laughs> did you really keep a rabbit? I did. Uh, yeah. Her name was Daisy, which, was, which seemed like a brilliant idea until she ended up as a house rabbit. My dad used to have to call for her outside. Daisy. Daisy, come in. You know. <laughs> you let your rabbit run free in the yeah. streets of Newcastle? Yeah. That's dangerous. The, 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 the thing was, Craig, I really wanted a dog. So we, got, so we got a cat lead, you know, like a kitten lead, and, yeah. and I would walk the, and, you know, I was like the mad girl who had the rabbit. Me and my sister, both of us, would walk the rabbit on the cat lead. It didn't really work. And then she had, like, a, a cat litter that she would use, and her favourite programme was Neighbours and Australian Soap. Oh, yeah, yeah. And every time the music came on, she would go and lie and watch it. But the rabbit would? Or yeah, but sister? then she became slightly vicious and had a bit of a tragic end. We're still talking about the rabbit, aren't yeah. you, sister? <laughs> <laughs> All about or, the rabbit. Or, or Madonna. All about the it's either Madonna, your sister, or the rabbit. Definitely, we're on the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're out of time. Um, so, <laughs> awkward pause, mouth organ, or big cash prize? I'll have uh, the big cash prize. Yes, you will, but you'll have to earn it. Okay. <laughs> Do you time, my... time, time. It's time for the big cash prize. Big cash prize. The American dollars, uh, singles are usually any strip club in these United States. You can either answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. I don't know what's in the box, I imagine the box, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. And if you get. You, you, you can figure it out. <laughs> <clears throat> question or box? Question. Right. <laughs> I've never ever asked this question. I was hoping you would get the hint, so here's a hint for you. <laughs> All right, then. Um, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. <laughs> Within ten, what is the world record for the number of times someone skipped a stone along the surface of water? You know when you skim it and the... Within ten. Within ten. <clears throat> Seven. Okay, that's very close. How close? It's close enough to get a second try. Within 10, it's 51. Oh, within 10 seconds. No, 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 within, within, no. You, now you're overthinking I'm sorry, it. No, I'm no, no. <laughs> how many times has someone skimmed, how many, how many times? Within 10. The answer's 51, so what do you think? Oh, okay, right, okay. 52? 52's close enough! Hunter.